What's up guys, this is Brandon Brand Steel Cogs, and this is another Fallout 4 mod. Today we're looking at the Zephyr Warriors F4 Power Mod Overhaul, and can I say this is easily one of the best mods out for the game so far. Now when I found out that the paint jobs for power armor took the same spot as the plating, such as titanium plating, lead plating, etc., I was really, really disappointed. Not only does this mod separate those two things, but it adds in a shit ton more mods for power armor. However, starting with just the paint and the plating, uh, one of the things that actually pissed me off was that you can see here the X01 power armor, which is the best in the game and formerly known as the Enclave power armor in uh, New Vegas, is extremely rusty. However, if I wanted to add the titanium plating, which you can see I have everything upgraded to titanium, which is, as far as I know, the best you can get for this armor. But titanium plating in real life actually makes it look nice and like titanium. Uh, in this game, it does not. It stays rusty. So what I decided to do is to add the Enclave paint to all the armor since this is the Enclave armor. And what it does is it actually gives you a different boost depending on the paint job you put on. So every time I highlight a different paint job, you can see it gives you, it says on the right side, increases whatever. So the Enclave increases strength. So I chose to do that. Plus it's Enclave armor. Why not? Anyway, the author also plans on adding in some more paint jobs as well. He's got a huge checklist on the uh, the Nixus page that I just looked at, and there are a ton of boxes that are checked, and even more that are unchecked as far as I saw. So he plans on adding a shit ton of camouflage uh, paints in. Well, I guess not necessarily camouflage, paints in general. It's probably also worth mentioning that, uh, before I move on at least, that all paint jobs are free as well, so that's pretty sweet. Now the next major part of this mod is that it completely recategorizes and properly categorizes mods for different parts of armor. So right now in the video I'm actually modifying my helmet and all this stuff wasn't there before or if it was it was named something stupid that didn't make sense and this is actually a hell of a lot easier to understand and I believe it takes I think it takes the same ranks it might make it a little bit easier I'm not 100% sure because I was able to use most of it. Um, or to make most of it, but, and my armor, is it armor? Um, anyway, my armor capability and science isn't amazing, so, uh, yeah. And along with the recategorization, it also renames most of the mods to make more sense, I suppose. So, yeah, you'll see, like, the dedicated VATS processing unit right there that I have highlighted. What that means is it, uh, I think it said it creates your, or gives you better VATS accuracy, or something along those lines, I already forgot. But it makes more sense than something else that might have said before, which also kind of ties into all the super long weapon names. And yeah. And for anybody that's curious as to how the recategorization works, basically there were mods. Uh, you can see, like, I was just messing with the servos, and they're named, some they're named something different in the vanilla game. They are in the vanilla game, though. Um, they're named something different, and I believe they go on the torso in the vanilla game, but it doesn't make sense because some of the options, like I had the knuckles up um, and power attacks, I think that's what that category was, but power attacks for some reason would go on the torso rather than the arms, which didn't make any sense, but with the new, re the new categories, I guess, it makes more sense and it's a lot easier to understand. So the name Power Armor Overhaul really does suit this mod. It's not some little skimpy mod that uh, changes a couple things. It actually changes a lot and makes Power Armor modding uh, a lot more sensible and a lot more, a lot easier to understand, really. And since all the mods are just recategorized and renamed, I figure there's no point to explain each one. Definitely not, especially because there's a lot of different ones. And here's just me with my painted Enclave armor. Woo, strength bonus for the win. And then I went ahead and actually, since I used most of my supplies, building or modding this and, or yeah, I guess just modding this, uh, I didn't have really much left to do any more mods. So I took another armor kit and uh, I put on the Institute paint, which is basically just white, but I think it's actually, it's definitely a fan favorite, I think. So yeah, I'll show that too. And this armor is the Brotherhood T60 armor. I look like a stormtrooper. Enough said. Anyway, the link to this mod will be in the description. Of course, I think it is an amazing mod and easily one of my favorites. I I was so mad you couldn't have paint and uh, plating on the, on the same armor piece. 
If you like the video, make sure to leave a like and a comment. And if you like Fallout mods, then be sure to subscribe. Peace.